Many machine parts are simply stamped or machined out of solid metal. But parts with complex shapes or thin walls can't be made that way. They have to be cast using a technique called lost wax process casting. It takes anywhere from a week to a month to manufacture a cast metal part, depending on its complexity. The first step is to inject wax into an aluminum die which is essentially a mold whose cavity is in the shape of the part. This creates a wax model slightly larger than the finished part will be. They'll use this wax model to make a mold out of a ceramic material. The mold has to be larger than the finished part because metal shrinks as it cools. Once the wax model is ready, they stamp on a code to tell the foundry workers what type of metal to use when they cast the part. Next, using a hot iron, they attach wax components to create what's called a metal delivery system. Channels that will funnel the molten metal into the mold's cavity. Next, they dip this wax assembly into a ceramic solution called slurry. They do this by hand to prevent imperfections that would cause defects in the casting. To strengthen the slurry, they coat it in a fine zirconium sand, then let it dry. A robot then keeps repeating the process with coarser sand until the ceramic shell surrounding the wax assembly is about three-tenths of an inch thick. This takes five days. Now the ceramic covered wax assembly is ready for what they call the de-wax. Workers place it in a hot steam chamber called an autoclave for five to ten minutes. This melts the wax right out of the shell, creating a ceramic mold whose cavity is in the shape of the part. Once the mold is dried out, workers can begin to cast the part. First, they put the cold mold into an oven and heat it up for two to three hours. This prevents the mold from cracking from shock when it comes into contact with molten metal that's close to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. They pour the metal into the mold's cavity, then let it cool and harden at room temperature. It takes two hours for aluminum, four to five hours for steel. Once the metal is cooled and solidified, they break off the ceramic mold using a vibrating hammer. This takes about five minutes. They saw off the metal delivery system. Then grind the surface smooth. The final step is to make sure the part came to the exact dimension specified in the technical drawing. This is called sizing. Steel parts have to be heated up in an oven for sizing. Aluminum parts are sized cold. Technicians use a series of tools and presses to measure the part. If it doesn't meet specifications, it's either reworked or simply discarded. They use sophisticated equipment such as this optical comparator to check the angles and radiuses, and this coordinate measuring machine to verify dimensions. Lost wax process casting is used to make metal parts for all types of machines and equipment. Everything from military weapons to snowmobiles.